Hello, hello, my boys and my girls. We are here in the fishing playthrough. I'm almost dead already. Don't worry about that. But we are here. It is finally time. Uncle Karius is ready. Look at his nice gear. This is bothering me a little bit. But look, right in our inventory already, you can see we have something wooden battle rod. That's right. It's a fishing playthrough. So, of course, we're going to have fishing theme mods. We got about three specifically fish theme mods in this and one of them is battle rods i recommend it i barely have played it but i recommend it already look at this 18 fishing damage what that's insane five percent fishing power tensile strength okay don't know what that does two second bobs oh my god oh my god there's too many enemies <laughs> quick activate this is how you use it look at it's wooden, so it's really slow. I don't want to press anything else, because I don't know if pressing anything else will help me. Oh, <laughs> oh look, I'm back like nothing ever happened. Quick, cover yourself up. Not like, because you're not wearing clothes, but cover yourself up. Because all these reach men are coming after me. They want our goods. AKA him, he's the goods. So, there is tensile strength. Bo bobs? <laughs> bobs and vagine? <laughs> There's, a. Uh, real speed and requires a bit to catch fish obviously it's a material too let's check this out really quickly oh my holy shit okay so this is the fishing playthrough uh i've been waiting a long time to do this a, a really long time and even longer since uh, a topic i'm about to go into in a little bit we'll talk about it a little bit first i want to just talk about everything else first but yeah i've been waiting a while uh, all this shit with YouTube doesn't help. And how long I had to wait. Cast it. Cast it. Cast it. There you go. Just, just run. <laughs> Cast it and run. Oh, he doesn't fit in here. At least he's too fast to fit in here. I don't know. We got a bunch of chests laying around everywhere. I know people are going to go crazy if I don't loot them. So guess what? I'm not going <laughs> to. They're just going to stay like I'll take that. Huh? Yeah, that's useless. But yeah. We got battle rods in here. We got tackle and bait mod, I think it's called. Let's go through it like this. So battle rods, tackle and bait, tackle box, which might be the tackle and bait one actually. But look, you guys can take a quick skim through that. The split mod is in here. I'm really interested to see how that mod's like. We got, uh, obviously I said battle rods. There's one more specific fishing mod in here look at that that's crazy there's so much stuff in there i don't remember the other fishing mod it must have a weird name oh, bait and tackle okay never mind that one's bait and tackle and the other one's tackle box i don't know uber fishing hook that's like if you need a lift somewhere take a uber okay that sounds weird because you know there's lift and then there's uber but yeah we're here let's let's get out of here let's go get some work done first thing i want to do is uh get a cactus battle rod if possible so we're gonna head to the left because i feel like like a hot breeze coming from the left so the the desert has to be over there. there's no goddamn way the desert is over there or would there be a nice hot breeze if there wasn't a desert these guys jump towards you that's so like crazy because they're really strong <laughs> and i don't appreciate them jumping towards me like that you know, hopefully we don't run into any more with this ominous music but uh, we got some goals. You know, might as well bring up the goals. Go ahead. Bring them up. They should pop up on the screen either now or they already popped up on the screen. I don't know. But uh, those are our goals. You know, hookshot wire, wooden fishing knife, slow, fast metronome. I don't know if those will pop up as, pop up as any of the goals, but that's something I want to do. And I'm going to explain what those items do because I barely know what they do myself either. But uh, we'll learn together. The fishing knives. So these are a bunch of accessories added in from uh, battle rods. And the fishing knife. Uh, they are sub weapons to protect you from physical damage. Uh, they protect you in a small range around you. So any enemy that gets close to you. Like if this guy got that close. He would get hit by this weapon. Uh, the knives have a cooldown period before being, being ready to strike again. And then late game knives, they have debuffs and 
obviously they're stronger so we want to make a wooden fishing knife so let's pull that up here it's gonna take 20 wood 18 iron that's a lot of iron jesus i didn't think it'd be that much iron you know what we haven't done we haven't fished yet let's fish it's a really tiny pool though so it's probably better if i fish somewhere else now that i think about it ah here's that nice hot breeze i was feeling <laughs> the nice cold ice by oh i don't have torches okay i can make some so a lot of people don't like the start of the game or like watching the starting game i'm like I, at least for a player a person playing the starting game it's one of my favorite things i love restarting it to her it's like nice and fresh and new most of the time a majority of the time it is let's say all the time because you never know what you're gonna run into even in vanilla it can be refreshing but a lot of people just want to see the light hard mode action stuff that's usually where the most how do you do this you hold it right that's usually where the most views Diver diverate that's not even a word i'm just making up words see this is what i get from making up words yeah it seems like most interest comes from the late mode stuff which i can't blame them. it does indeed get more interesting there but for me as a player who's played this game a bunch of times i find it really interesting that we start a new world and get to have a new feeling every time like a new experience every time oh the hot breeze was over here i knew that oh my god it's fucking it's a sandstorm too like i don't i hate sandstorms <laughs> they're just too strong early game expect me to outrun this let's see oh we're doing pretty good actually we're doing pretty good all right let's pick up cactus because that's what we came here to get so that's what we're gonna get obviously but yeah let me talk about some here the metronome let's talk about the metronome before i talk about my uh, youtube subject um so metronomes they added in from battle rods which adds in a bunch of stuff like i said you should go check it out um they got an interesting wiki but it's probably one of the most organized wikis compared to some other mods oh my god all right so metronome i'm reading the slow slash fast metronome i don't understand that name but that's the name given to this one so what it does they increase base damage by 10 while decreasing bob speed by five percent uh, fast increase bob speed by 10% while decreasing base damage by 8% you guys may be like what the fuck is he reading uh it's crafted with 15 iron one chain 10 gold slash platinum at a table oh my god <laughs> so if you guys don't know what metronomes do uh they tick and talk not like a clock though believe it or not they tick and talk on their own in their own way and it goes from a fast tick to a slow tick if you guys have watched my uh bard playthrough we got we get a metronome in that playthrough and it ticks it does one thing it ticks to the other it ticks to the slow side it does another thing so i'm assuming the slow side increases base damage by 10 percent and decreases bob speed so you're gaining damage but you're losing losing fishing skill and then the fast side does the opposite you gain fishing skill, you lose damage. Oh my god, these guys got the strongest fucking attacks. Like not even like stat wise, the fact that they jump at you when you're when you're close is insane. That's crazy. That's like that boy's hitting mock speed. Can I like I have sunflowers here for a reason. To decrease spawn rates. I just want to decrease some damn spawn rates. Alright, while we kill this guy, let's try and get this uh cactus battle rod here because we're gonna need the up and damage because we ain't doing too hot so we're gonna need web how much web did i get i don't even think i got any web we gotta go back i gotta uh, i'm sorry bro. i gotta go get the web but yeah let's bring up a serious topic here nobody likes serious topics right but we're gonna do it anyways uh so if you guys know if you guys have been following me somewhat closely, you don't even need to be following me that close. I usually like talk about it in like every episode, at least during the throwing playthrough. I probably mentioned it a bunch of times, but uh, I was falsely guideline strike for the longest time, at least in my opinion, falsely guideline strike. But I can't do anything. Uh, what's a person's opinion against a like? What's one person's opinion against a whole fucking company? Nothing. 
It's like when you breathe, it just happens. You don't even acknowledge it. You just do it. Just like YouTube doesn't acknowledge, acknowledge small channels. Even big channels don't get acknowledged. But, uh, well, they get acknowledged eventually, but at least they get acknowledged eventually. But small people usually never get acknowledged. But what the fuck? Just kill him. Kill him. All right. Okay, kill him too. Kill him too, because I don't like fucking cars that move on their own. Get out of here, robot. All right, so uh, a thing that happened, I got falsely guideline strike. One of them, I understand. But I had a pretty good argument for it not to be like an actual guideline strike. But, you know, whatever. It don't matter. My voice is not to be heard. But the first one I got hit with was so random. Oh, my God. God, what the fuck is the kill count? Like seven? Um, I'm hearing some noises here. I don't know what the noises are. Oh God, <laughs> I don't know. This is, I'm trying to I'm trying to tell a serious subject here. I'm getting chased by things. They're making weird noises, man. It attracted me. But yeah, back to what I was talking about. Let's not die this time, though. Let's just pay attention to that. Death is not something I like to uh, endure. So we're not gonna. At least I'm going to try my best to not endure death again. Uh, but, yeah. The second, or the original, I guess we'll say the original guideline strike I got hit by. Was completely bullshit. YouTube, oh my god, I forgot to drown faster underwater. Under ice water. Uh, YouTube has a system that stops false guideline strikes. Or, quote unquote, they say they have a system. Uh, quote, the they have a system part. But I got guideline strike, like somebody flagged a video or reported the video that was three, four years old and it got flagged for spam and fraudulent content. And it was a video, if you guys remember a long time ago, uh, <clears throat> Terraria, like the devs themselves, they released a teaser of the uh, solar, solar eclipse, right? Am I saying, is that the right eclipse? Solar Eclipse. And it was a teaser of all the monsters and stuff. And that was like like three or four years ago. The video has been on my channel for like three or four years. And it got flagged. And I got a guideline truck because of it. And I had to wait three months without it. I'm getting all these elements. I had to wait three months. Not without it. I had to wait three months with it. And couldn't do anything about it. I reported it. Like said like this is wrong it ain't right it ain't right whoever reported this for spam so for fraudulent content even though i'm literally talking about the content that's in the game it's even in the game now but uh whatever you know uh i tried to like fight and tell youtube like hey you guys gotta tell me the exact reason why they wouldn't even give me an exact reason why <laughs> they just they just said like your video is spam fraudulent. We're going to take it down. We're going to give you a guideline strike. Now you have to sit in timeout like a little baby bitch for three months. Three months. And you lose a bunch of stuff for those. You lose a bunch of traits. Not traits. It's like features on YouTube. You lose a bunch of them for those three months. And you can't do anything about it. It's for, it's for like, wham, wham, I'm a little baby bitch complaining about youtube no I, I couldn't do anything about it that's literally what they made me feel like like i'm a little child in like a parent's household and they're like this is my home you do what i say i mean it's true it is their home but like they gotta have some f fairness your parents won't just beat you for no reason shit i don't even think do, do, does anyone still get beat by the parents probably don't comment that don't comment yeah i get beat my by my parents <laughs> Because I don't know if that's the best thing to comment. You might get CPS, Child Protection Services, in my YouTube comments. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe, like, the Black Game Raiders, for you helping out and uh, finding which children have been getting abused. We have revoked your YouTube. Now, it's been six, six months. It's probably been less than that. I think, like, four or five months. Four or five months since I originally got the uh first guideline strike and then i think like a month after or maybe a month into the f first guideline strike i got another one and 
you know, you think everything would be good once they all wore up. Now, put this into account. I was getting unpartnered. I would, myself, I was getting out of my contract because my contract, well, I'm not even getting out of my contract. My contract ended with ZoomIn.TV, which is the company I was partnered with. And uh, obviously when you're partnered, you, uh, you're with that company that you're partnered with. They're the ones that help you with ad revenue and like music, advertisements, all of that. They do all the all this stuff for you. They're like your grandma slash grandpa in a way that they treat you better than your parents. <laughs> YouTube. But I, di I didn't like they're like they were paying me late every single month. Like I never knew when I was going to get paid. And you can't have that in the in the world as an adult. Even though I'm only 19 now, I'm about to be 20. Happy birthday to me in a couple of months. But as an adult, maybe when I was still in school, that's fine getting paid late. I didn't give a shit, but I had bills to pay. I had a gym bill to pay. I had a, I don't know if I had Netflix at the time. I had Netflix to pay. We're just going to assume I did. Amazon Prime I probably had. Uh, and internet bill. My internet bill was a fuck ton until I talked to them recently. I'm like... I had cable that came on my internet, and I was like, hey, I, I told them recently, I was like, hey, I don't need this goddamn cable. Stop charging me for it. That was like a year after, that was like almost two years after having the cable. I don't care. It was, it was a low price at the beginning when I first joined that specific plan for internet. But moving on, I don't even know what I was talking about originally. <laughs> yeah, I was in the middle of, oh my God, I almost got hit by that boulder. I was in the middle of getting unpartnered. And I became unpartnered, meaning I was not making money anymore from YouTube. And YouTube was my job. I eventually got a job at Target like a couple months later, but that's besides the point. Uh, it was a seasonal job anyway, so it wasn't permanent. So I pretty much lost my job, got laid off. Like, it was my decision to get unpartnered for them. But I expected to be able, because I waited for my contract to be over, I expected to be able to just hop back into another partnership and nothing ever happened. Like, done, it's like a girlfriend. It's like, you break up, been there, done that, moving on, right? Okay, maybe people don't move on that quickly. But still, you get the idea. I was ready to get partnered and ready to, you know, keep my YouTube career going. Because it was going pretty good. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're going to die. And here comes the fun part. I got hit with the guideline strikes while getting unpartnered. So I got screwed is pretty much what happened. And there's nothing about getting screwed. Okay, I was about to say something really dark. Like an analogy to compare getting screwed. It was going to be really dark. It's good that I didn't. Because that wouldn't help the cause about what I was about to say. And people were like, just say it. I, I literally can't. I'm not going to say it. It's fucked up. But yeah, we got screwed. Um, Right now I'm getting a bunch of iron. Because I want to be able to make at least one of these accessories from the battle rods mod that's the goal we got enough cobweb i hope for something there's an armor set i want to make but yeah back to the back to the subject uh so pretty much i was screwed and pretty much this is the point where i feel like i was forced to be laid off forced to quit my job pretty much and then that's when i started streaming a bunch and starting in more intimate okay maybe not intimate is the word to use but getting more uh close to the viewers and stuff because I, I that's my favorite thing about streaming is being able to interact with you guys all the time for like an hour two hour period i just get to talk to you guys it's always fun doing that but yeah um this is where the part comes in i can't get partnered because there's a bug on youtube how about that right <laughs> waited for all my guidelines to go away like a good boy didn't like try and well, nah, YouTube is still a pretty, pretty bad company, but you say that about your parents too, but you still love them, right? Deep down, right? But, uh, there's a bug, and I'll maybe have a clip of the bug on the screen right now. I don't know. Oh my God. Some Indiana Jones stuff going down right now. Like, traps are barely missing me. It's destiny that we're not getting hit by these. But yeah. There'll be hopefully a clip that shows you that there's these partner terms that you have to accept. Now, know this. When I when I I've been on YouTube for what nine, ten years now. 
it's almost it might have been 10 years recently it's either, it's either nine or ten i think it's nine it's gonna be 10 years next year then but yeah i've been on youtube for a long time never did anything never infringed on any rights never did anything stupid for nine years and uh it's just like what the fuck <laughs> show me some respect i've been on i've been on this platform so long maybe not as a content creator for that long but still i've been on here i've always showed love so i can why do i get no love back but yeah back to the bug it's literally something that i have no control of i'm able to get partnered i talked to tgn which is the company i wanted to get partnered with and everything was set up i talked to them everything set up all i needed to do was enable the youtube partner program stuff youtube partner programs was it ypp it's like why do you pp it's like bitch because i have to but i set up everything talked to them and then it got to the point to where it was just <laughs> youtube's fault at that point it's a bug in the system i couldn't do anything i even tried to talk to tgn i'm like can you help me with this some way somehow can you somehow contact youtube because i know they won't reply to me and i didn't even get a reply from them which shows me how much i want to get partnered with them right the company you want to get partnered with just stops replying to you because i don't know it's maybe maybe it's like out of their jurisdiction they don't have control of it that's youtube they don't got control of it they're just there just like i'm just there just like you guys are here watching you're just there youtube don't care it's all about the moolah which is true that's how life be pink zor okay if you guys know what if you guys don't know what pink zor is it's a uh, mini boss from the juice to mod this is getting harder and harder every time because i keep losing floor so since he's stuck we can easily just take him on i need to make at least a platform here we're gonna stop ranting for a second i didn't even get to the part where i was gonna be like hey donate one dollar all right this is the part donate one dollar to my patreon or come to my twitch and subscribe or just donate bits on my twitch whenever you can you guys don't understand how much a dollar a month can help imagine a hundred people donating a dollar a month you get up to a thousand two thousand views Once if a hundred of those people just gave me a dollar it's like oh no they're losing a dollar but they're giving game raiders a dollar not my precious dollar i can't buy a fucking candy bar i can't buy a candy bar I'm, i live in california bitch i need at least a dollar and like 50 cents to buy a candy bar out here that's okay maybe like a dollar because it'd be like 90 cents with tax but imagine that imagine 200 people donated a dollar that's 200 dollars a month that helps so much especially with this youtube glitch going on that i have no control of you guys don't understand how much that would help and I'd appreciate it a lot. It'll allow me to upgrade stuff from my computer so I can stream more, stream at higher quality, upgrade my internet. You know how it is. If you're if you're a stream viewer, you know I got the love for you. You know I got the most love for you because you're always there for me most of the time. Except for when you're not there. That's happened. Ah! Fucking pinkies. Dude, I can't fight all these pinkies at once. I can fight one of them. I can't even stand on platforms. So this is a this guy gives quests to kill mini bosses and stuff. It's really cool. I like him a lot. All right, we're gonna we're gonna kill these pinkies. But yeah, donate a dollar to Patreon or just subscribing to my Twitch. That helps so much, and I appreciate it a lot if you guys did that. At least for a month or two until this YouTube bug is gone. They acknowledged the bug and they said they fixed it on the 9th of May. And it's not fixed for everybody it's fixed for some people some people in the like comments of the forum page they're like yeah how come it's fixed for this guy but it's not fixed for me the same thing goes for me is it's fixed for the dude who posted the forum post originally but you never know youtube can be manipulating some things and be like hey can you change it so it said you said that it was fixed like edit your original forum post to say that it's fixed you never know what dark shit can be going on on youtube yeah there'll be a patreon link a direct donation link i don't know my twitch link will be in the description if you guys ha have the money is if you have the money don't be forcing yourself to do this 
I really appreciate a dollar donation, two dollar donation. It would help a lot. At least during these dark times, which I thought I would get out of like a month ago, but dude, we are still trapped in it. So I just gave him the stuff the pink Zor drop. And he says, Hello there. <laughs> My name is Bodega. Interesting name. I'm the hunt master. I seek out unique monsters and take them down before they can take us down. Thanks for helping me out. That slime. Oh, helping me out of the slime. Uh, it got the jump on me. How about you do some work for me? I'll let you know if there's a creek needing hunting and I'll pay you if you bring back proof of his death. Here's something for helping out with that big pink slime. So he gives us the rogue tomato. The hunt begins. Saw a tomato thing running around. It, should be, it shouldn't be too hard. A fart slime's nastier than this thing. It's nastier than the big pink slime from earlier. But there's nastier slimes out there. This is, is what I'm saying. Anyways, it tends to bury itself, but the top of it will stick up the surface. Alright, so we should see this guy. When we're on the surface, they, the mini bosses do pop up on the mini map. But that's not our goal right now. Our goal is to get more cobweb, get more ore. Just pretty much get stuff we can use at this current moment in time. Uh, to help us make better fishing stuff. Because this is the fishing playthrough. Now, I haven't gone over... I haven't gone over the rules of the fishing playthrough. Weapons. How will weapons work? Are you only going to use weapons that are f like fish damage, fish related? Obviously, fish damage. No, I'm not. And the reason because of that is there's not a lot of weapons that do fishing damage. It's all just battle rods. I can't just rely on this to be my weapon, at least not early game. So the rule with fishing is when it comes to weapons, armor, weapons, oars, whatever, is whatever I fish, I can use. If I fish out uh anchor i'm using that even if it doesn't do specifically fishing damage you guys get what i'm saying if i fish it out i can use it uh obviously or i can mine whenever we start with a pickaxe might as well use a pickaxe but i know people do fishing playthroughs a little bit more different but this is a modded fishing playthrough and this is my playthrough so i wanted different rules but if you guys want to suggest any rules that would make the playthrough more interesting, more fun, or just like have like, I don't know, a different trait to other fishing playthroughs. Because, you know, once once I do a fishing playthrough, other people in the modding community, hopefully, when it comes to like content creating, I hope other people will be like, hey, fishing playthrough sounds kind of interesting. Game Reddish did it. Let me try it out for myself. Post a video. I'm looking at like Fury Bomb, Chippy, I don't know, hopefully one of them will post a video and get even more uh, notoriety. When it comes to like the fishing class and these fishing mods, because battle rods seems like a really cool mod. The other mods I don't have too much of an opinion on yet, because I didn't really get to play around with them yet. But yeah, moving on. Let's head back to our beautiful home, which is down here. We're going down here. I don't want to be up here. There are places down here. We're gonna make the cactus rod finally. Finally. There's a bunch of stuff we can make. Holy shit. Okay, hold up. Let's, uh, uh, hurry up. Eddie Block. Please. Alright, we're good. They can't get in here. That was, uh, very close, though. I, mean, I didn't like that. Pink Sludge. Why not? Go ahead. Got a little pink dude flying around. So, look, we got a bunch of stuff already. What is in my head? We got Hookshot Wire, which I wanted to make. Discardable Bobbers voice crack allows you to recast very fast if it bobs if bobs are retrieved from an enemy Ooh, i like that so we got 32 cobweb let's uh let's be very specific with what we create here definitely gonna make this because we get less damage what why do we get less damage what the fuck why are we getting less than the wooden one the wooden one doesn't even have okay hold up i can't exactly test don't come down here. I can't test this out. This is not something I could test out easily. This is bad. <laughs> All right, here. Try again. Go, go, go. Hoop. Does it does the do it damage faster? It doesn't feel like it does damage faster. Well, it was really good that we went out of our way to make this, right? <laughs> all right, we killed him. That's all that needed to be shown. People may be asking what this is. The gooey glove what you get for killing the pink zora slime so let's go back into our beautiful hole in the ground this probably won't be our home in the future i hope not 
voice cracking again. I'm sorry. Uh, but let's see here. Hookshot wire and discardable barbers. I mean, as much as I want to make that, there's something else that I want to look at really quick. That is the first armor set, which I don't remember its name. Shit. Okay, I know you need silk. So let's type in silk and see if we can find it like this. Probably should take silk out of the name. Oh my god, there's so many things. Let's see here. What is that? Frail slime mask. Interesting. I should be able to spot the armor out. It's fairly easy to recognize. I think. I don't know. It looks like fishing armor. I have no idea. I, I have not seen it yet. We've been staring at this for a good bit now. What the heck? I don't want a corset. I don't care how pretty I look. I don't want it. Vacation. There we go. That's what we're looking for. So we need silk. More silk and, and cactus. It's not that hard to create. We just need a loom. That's really it. Honestly, the loom part is the hardest part. But uh, I think for now. Are we good? I think we might need to make it. Fuck it. Yeah, we really shouldn't make it. Let me try and make a... Uh, I don't, I don't even have a furnace yet. Let me gather all the stuff for like a furnace. All right, I was able to make a pretty decent amount. Let me actually combine these two together. So I like, I like doing that. I was able to make a pretty decent amount of iron and copper. So hopefully we can get something built with these. I wanted to make a wooden fishing knife first. Oh, we can. I thought that one was iron. I don't know, it looked like iron. So what else we can make? We make a copper battle rod, which does one more damage than the wooden one. Don't know if that's really worth it. We can make a lead one. That might be worth it, honestly. But I do want to just make a loom. And see what we can do from there. So where the hell is the loom at? Wait, no. We need to make a sawmill first. And then we can make a loom. So we need that. We need a sawmill. And then... I don't know how much cobweb we need. We're probably going to need a lot for this armor in general. Which is understandable because it's like completely made out of silk. So we should probably get more cobweb. So I'll probably do that right after this. Alright, where's the loom at now? There it is. Run out of space in here. I gotta make a big cubby hole already. Don't expect this to be my house. We'll make something. I'll try my best to make a house in the beginning half of the playthrough. Not the end half. We're already like done with hard mode. And we're just starting to finish the house. I don't know, that's a bad habit. I keep doing it. Okay, so let's type in vacation armor. So we're going to need 16, 21. Jeez, how much is it to make a piece of silk? I already don't even remember. Uh, it's seven cobweb. So seven times 21 is a lot of cobweb. So we're going to do a jump cut, and hopefully, I will have the uh, tools needed. I will record it. if I run into anything interesting in the caves, I will record that. So yeah, cut it. Alright, we are back home. Nothing interesting. I accidentally caught a fish. Is that kind of interesting? I don't know. We did pick up a bunch of stuff from the split mod and oh kind of interested. Oh god. Do not come in here. They just have trouble. I think they move too fast to drop into my home. But uh there's some interesting stuff. We'll look more in detail to all this stuff later this stuff looks kind of confusing but yeah moving on uh let me put this here we got more flurry boots which isn't too useful i found this worm head thing and uh you know just because you found a worm head doesn't mean you have to wear it but you know whatever you want man you can do whatever you like i'm not here to judge i'm just i'm kind of here to judge because that's kind of fucking weird creases fishing skill golden hook interesting very interesting. I think we should obviously focus on making the armor first. So that's what I'm going to try and do. So what was it? It was 21 silk. I don't know how much we already have. 12. Alright, so we need 9 more, I think. Where the hell is it? There it is. Oh, okay. I think it's 9 more. I'm not 100% sure. Ah, right, do we have enough? Oh, we don't have enough. Are you fucking kidding me? Did I do the math wrong or something? I think I did the math wrong. I don't know. I, I thought it was going to be like 50 something cobweb. Obviously, I was wrong. Uh, we need cactus too. Okay, we have a decent amount. We should be able to make most of this armor though, which is all I care about. So we have a majority of it. There we go. There's a chest plate. Piece of fishing skill by five. Boom. There's the hat. 
and increase your skill by three. So we got eight fishing skill, four defense. Should I take this off? Probably. Yeah, I'll take off my my robe. I'll keep my loincloth on for now. Obviously, until we get in the next armor set. All right, jump cut again. I gotta find more cobble. All right, let's hopefully actually be able to make the armor. Hopefully, actually. Okay. Um, just isn't it just one more piece, anyways? I think it is. Where is it? What are we making? We're making pants now. Uh, there it is. Okay, I was about to say. If I needed more than one piece, it might have been over. Set increase or set bonus increases fishing damage and Bob should be up 5%. Nice. Nice, nice. I don't know what's up with the cactus one. What's the point of the cactus one? It does less damage. Is it. It literally everything's the same. It just says prickly. What the heck? <laughs> I use materials to make that and I get nothing from it. All right, so let's make the other stuff that we can make. What the heck is that? Golden fireplace rack. Nice. Uh, there was other stuff we can make. Here we go. Hookshot wire. Discardable bobbers. Um. See, discardable sounds kind of dangerous. Like, I don't want to discard anything. But uh, we'll make both of them, I guess. We'll get rid of some stuff here. Starting with this. Fuck this. I don't care about one defense. So, uh, always reeled in towards the enemy. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell that means. This card bob bobber allows you to recast very fast. Sweet. And you can make a faster one. Nice. For cheap from it. Right click with the rod. Okay. Still don't know what that means, but we're gonna we're gonna try our best here. So I, oh, so it instantly pulls it out. So there's no like animation to like drag it back. Okay, he almost hit me. So I can oh oh I can drag myself towards the enemy. That's really interesting. So if I like this, if I were to go like, dude, come on, dude. <laughs> so whoa, I caught me a big one. That's a big slime. <laughs> Yo, I could catch a riot on a flying enemy. If I don't kill a flying enemy. I can straight up catch a ride. Look at that. That's pretty crazy. All right. I think we're going to do one more thing, and that is create a wooden fishing knife. So let us let us do that right now. How do you do that? <laughs> we need uh, lead. Boom. I think that's it. It's just lead, right? Lead and wood. Pretty easy recipe. There's a bunch of fishing rods I can make right here. Silver, lead, cactus. I'm not going to mention cactus anymore. Boom. Text enemies who are almost touching you. Once every two seconds. Double damage enemy stuck to your bobber. Cool. And it's lucky. Just what we needed. Alright, bye bye wormhead. You lasted a long time. I do plan to get all those accessories from, uh... What mod is it? Furniture food fun? All those, like, animal accessories. But it's kind of hard to do it. It's kind of really hard. Alright. Swing it. Hit him. Hit him. I think it hit him right there. I saw like a little tiny like thing pop out. I don't know if you guys. Did. I want to do it against a slime though, because that's less, less hosh hostility. Do it. Do it. Hit him. It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. <laughs> it's not doing anything. I need some. Uh, oh god. So yeah, I think we're gonna end off this first episode here. Uh, Casminicus, or not Casminicus, I don't know why he's always the name I say over <laughs> the current orc's name, but, uh, Uncle Kari is here, seems ready, seems ready to go out and get some shit accomplished, I don't know how this thing works, we gotta figure that out eventually, but yeah, we're gonna end off the first episode, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope it's a long episode, I feel like I've been recording for a while, uh, and, like I said, the link to Patreon, or just my Twitch in general, Will, those will be in the description. Whoever donates and stuff, I'll make sure to shout you out in the next episode. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. I'll see you next time.